Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about the topic of transferring files or photos from your iPhone to iPad and the other way around. Now, this may be something which you may be interested in and well, the first option is of course to connect your iPad to your iPhone with a cable. So of course, if you have the USB-C and Lightning, you can connect it and fire it up very easily. But you're gonna find out that even if I connect it, it's not gonna do anything for me. It doesn't work that way because if I open up the files app, you can see all the locations include the iPad, the Dropbox, you can see the clouds like iCloud, but the iPhone is just not going to show up. You can see that it is connected. Your uh, My iPhone is charging, but it's just not going to show up so I can move files over. It doesn't work that way. However, the way I would go about it is I mean, there are multiple ways. At first, I would make sure that I have the iCloud synced. In case I use the same iPhone and iPad, in case they both belong to me, I would just, of course, log in with the same Apple ID, go in here, tap on iCloud, tap on Photos, and I would, of course, turn on a sync this iPad and perhaps even shared albums. I would turn it on. I would turn on the same thing on the iPhone, and in that case, using iCloud, my photos would be synced, but this would apply to all photos, which is something that I perhaps don't want to do. But uh, yeah, it depends on your preferences, but you can sync your entire iCloud photos library with your iPhone and iPad. That would be like the first way of getting the photos or transferring the photos from iPad to iPhone and iPhone to iPad. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Well, the second way is, of course, using the AirDrop, since these are both devices which belong to you. It's extremely simple. In this case, what you can, of course, do is to simply go ahead and go to the AirDrop like this, look it up, try to see this is the iPad. I'm going to tap on it. And now the photo is going to appear on my iPad. It's very simple. This is the simplest way how you can transfer files in between Apple devices. So I would definitely make sure that this is something that you do, of course, because uh, you want to make sure that this is the transferring process, which is, of course, the quickest and fastest in between Apple devices. But in case you don't want to transfer files through airdrop for whatever reason which i think you should want to do it because it's like the simplest one available but in, in case you don't want to do that well as you've noticed you you cannot really change or transfer files with the cable by connecting it directly to ipad but in case you still want to achieve that instead of your iphone being connected to the ipad find some kind of a flash drive something you can connect this is for example the ssd drive I can connect it to my iPhone, or it doesn't even have to be that. Perhaps you have some kind of adapter for the SD card, whatever, some kind of middle part, some kind of drive in between where you can copy the photos there and then copy the photos from the drive to the iPad. This is the simplest way. Whenever you're transferring some files, you don't need any software for it. You don't need any iCloud synchronization, trusting the devices altogether. It works simple. This is the best way. In case you're uh, transferring files, even between the Mac, iPad, iPhone, doesn't matter. The stuff is always going to be recognized in the files app. So it's very simple. I would do that all the time. Just find some file it doesn't have to be something like this it can be usb if you just find out and figure out that the port situations and the cables to connect it properly this is the best way because you can always just paste something from the mac and put it on the ipad you don't even have to mess with the airdrop with the connecting like as i said trusting the devices and icloud synchronizations none of that applies you just paste it on the flash drive copy it from the drive to the iPad. That's it. It's the simplest way possible. So yeah, that's what I would do. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video right here. To recap it, you can either airdrop it, which is the simplest way. You can use iCloud, which is a bit more complicated and uses internet and you have to be logged in with the same Apple ID. I don't really use it that much. Or if you quickly just want to download or move over 
files, photos, whatever, use some kind of flash drive the best way, as I always say. So I'm going to wrap up this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to hit the thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to Fox Tech so you never miss future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out until then.